Hey guys, it's Nate. Hey. Yo, let me get into foot, man. Are you kidding me? I just want to start my video, EA Sports. Can we redo this now? Hey guys, it's Nate, aka the Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little hiccup there. Thanks to EA Sports. Brought to you by EA Sports. In the intro. Can't blame anybody but EA Sports, right? Just kidding. Anyway, I want to talk about the current content in FIFA Ultimate Team and what is going on in the game right now and how EA is specifically tailoring this content for their benefit this week and especially leading up towards this weekend. We're going to look back into earlier portions of FIFA Ultimate Team where we had this exact same scenario play out and it's playing out right before our eyes again. This is when history is repeating itself in the future with EA Sports and their content. Happens a decent amount in this game and that's why we can learn from it and that's why I can bring you this video today showing you it and talking about it. It all relates around this SBC right here and the content that we have gotten for the past couple of weeks with player SBCs, right? Think about all the player SBCs we've gotten in the past week. Of course, we've had the new player of the month. Uh, we've had the Ashley Young, the Muriel, the Thalvin, not to mention the SBCs that have expired that aren't even in here anymore. The, the player SBCs they've been dropping. Uh, and then, of course, the ones that have been in the store for a while as well. We have guys like uh, Alexandro, who's been out for in the, in the past two weeks, basically. After that Kami Bowl promotion is kind of what I'm talking about. We have the Alexandro 91 rated. We have Flashback Jerome Boateng. We have Vidal. Those are all guys that have come out in the past couple weeks that EA is trying to basically take coins off of the game and suck coins from the game. This is what we call coin suck SBCs, and this is a coin suck time in foot because they're putting out good good value. They're decent value, especially when they first came out. Now, right now, since the mid icon has been released, these cards are very expensive to complete. So if anybody's doing these, you know, EA is loving it because they're sucking even more coins off the game. But these weren't that bad value when it came out. I know so many people who have done Vidal. So many times I've seen seen Jerome Boateng in Weekend League. Alexandro, the best Brazilian left back in the game. It's Alexandro as well. Him and Tellez are right there neck and neck. And he's just, he's a Juventus, Piemonte Calcio. Alexandro, he's, he's a legend in foot for one of the best left backs that's always in the game each and every year. Um, and basically what they're doing again is they're just sucking coins off the market. And then we get to this SBC that came out on Friday when we were expecting the foot birthday promo. And this is even more of a coin suck. The biggest coin sucks in FIFA Ultimate Team in terms of SBCs are the icon upgrades. The baby icon upgrade, the first version that we had right before um, Black Friday, and the second version that we had in December. And then this version that has come out now, which I think was too late, but that's EA's decision, not mine. This SBC, whenever we have an icon upgrade, it's the casuals. The casuals see this icon upgrade. They see this SBC and they're like, yo, the chance of me getting a hullet, the chance of me getting Zidane, they think they're going to get something big from this and they try to craft it. And that is why EA, EA knows that their player base is smart and they know that, hey, I can turn in some of these useless non-rare golds from my club to try to get me an 82 to 88 rated player. I might get an 86, 87, or 88 that I can use in that mid icon SBC and make it cheaper, right? Yeah, that's what you think. This is actually, they don't sell you, but this is actually the 82 to 84 rated upgrade because I have not seen anybody, well, I did pack an 85 out of this, but there's it's really, really rare to get anything over 85 rated in this SBC, which again, plays into EA's hands because you have to go spend your own coins more often than not to go complete this SBC. And if you're doing this upgrade SBC to, um, you know, craft the mid icon upgrade, you're actually rinsing your club of those non rare golds and non rare, uh, not silvers, but just the rare golds as well. Some of those are really inflated right now on the market because uh, another thing people are doing is that's my Japanese squad for squad battles that I misclicked on. But another thing that people are doing right now is they're doing league SBCs because when, when you have nothing to do on foot and you're trying to craft an SBC, you know, first of all, when there's nothing to do on FIFA, you know, maybe your icon swaps are done. There's icon swaps to do and there's this mid icon. That's basically what you can do right now on FIFA. If you want to do something that's not playing the game. And the ways you do that is you try to craft them, right? There's a lot of hardcores and even, you know, not so hardcores that do league SBCs to try to craft these cards. 
and they're going out and they're you know opening bronze packs and they're trying to complete these league SPCs to get packs, open those packs, and then use the money they make from those, uh, which they hope is a profit, to go and open up the mid icon and do the mid icon for cheaper. Basically, that's the whole point of like crafting. And then they use all their their non rare golds in this to try to upgrade them to higher rated cards. That's like the whole concept of crafting, which can work. It takes a lot of time. You can go from bronze pack method, go to like bronze upgrade, go to silver upgrade, and then go to the 82 to 88, and then put all those in the mid icon. That does work. And then use all your leftover players for league SBCs. That definitely does work, but it takes a lot of time, right? But that's kind of the stuff that people have been doing this week. And if you honestly think about it, it's not the worst time ever to open packs if you're looking from a pure value standpoint i'm gonna look at thomas muller right here because this is kind of my you know if you watch my videos this is the guy that i go to a lot when i'm looking at 86 rated card thomas muller this dude is basically 25k he was 12k two weeks ago during the two for one packs during foot player days and the economy bowl kickoff team being in packs he's literally doubled in price solely because of all the sbcs we've had in the past week and because of the mid icon SBC in particular, this dude is 25,000 coins basically on the market, which is insane. And again, it just goes to show you what people are doing on this game right now. They are doing SBCs and they have literally no regard for their coins and no regard for how much this is costing them because they're bored and there's nothing else to do on foot. So that plays right into EA's hands and taking coins off of this game as their goal. That's really what it boils down to with what is happening on foot right now at the moment. I mentioned I was gonna go back in time and show you what happened earlier this year. And we're gonna go take a look at this. This might be familiar to you. This little spike up in the graph. Again, we're looking at Thomas Muller, our best friend, 86 rated. The baby icon SBC, when it came out for the first time, it was either on this Friday or Saturday. So either the 22nd or 23rd, Thomas Muller jumped up from around, you know, 11, 12,000 coins. He boomed up to basically 20,000 coins. He was actually a little bit higher the first day the SBC came out because it was the first time. People were like, oh, I got to go do this. 20,000 coins. And let me remind you, Sunday, November 24th, what was the Friday after that? Oh, yeah. Foot birthday. A massive pack promo where if your club has been run dry from doing big time SBCs the week before, you have a special and great opportunity to open some packs to replenish that coin amount. And that is the whole reason why EA takes coins off the market to then try to replenish them through promo packs. And that is what is happening this week. Again, it's basically the same thing that we saw happen earlier this year. Thomas Muller goes to 16, or er, goes to 18, 19,000 coins, 20,000 coins. And then look what happens on the 29th of November. We have Black Friday. All right, he's back down 14, 15K, but he maintains that price because, um, of course, you have that, that baby icon SBC that maintains these guys' prices. During Footmas, he spikes up at one point to 19K again. Then we're into Team of the Year. He's pretty low, have an SBC and whatever. So, but basically, what we're looking at is just this spike and then the reduction. The spike where he goes up to a very expensive value when there's not as much stuff in packs, there's not as many people opening packs and no lightning rounds in the game to then people opening a ton of packs after that. So again, th that's what's going on right now in foot. People are, or EA is draining coins from the market. They're making you try to spend your coins and liquidate to try to take your luck, take your best shot at getting a mid icon upgrade. And then after you've done that, after you spent coins on it, what they are going to want you to do this weekend is they're going to release a foot birthday promo. They're going to put cards in packs. Foot birthday is a promo that everybody gets excited about because it's cool. And to, not to mention that right now in foot, there are more players on this game than there ever are at this time of the year, just because of the fact that everybody is home, locked down. The UK just got locked in uh, yesterday. Um, a lot of the US is, you know, kind of like under a travel ban or whatever. That It just... A lot of the world right now is at home and there's more people that are on FIFA. Everybody that's, you know, schools are closed. Stuff is shutting down because of the virus and that's more people that are on this game because they're just at home, right? They're at home and they're not out and about doing normal everyday life things, working or whatever. And there's 3, 000, 3 million transfers right now at this time of night is unbelievable. Like there's usually 1.5 million transfers on a normal night like this without everything that's going on. 
and that just plays exactly right into EA's hands. And that's why I think if we go look at the actual price of the, the mid icon SVC, what you see here is last night or Sunday night, we had squad battle rewards. So the price of the SBC right at squad battle rewards time or an hour before was 607K. SB rewards comes out and then boom, 568,000 coins a couple hours after. And look what has happened all day today on Monday. This SBC has gotten more and more expensive because there's no supply entering the market and people have nothing else to do on this game, but go out and buy 85s, 86s, 87s and all the way up to go do this SBC. So again, what is going to happen later this week or through the rest of this week? I think we might see another SBC or two, like a player SBC of this week, another flashback or another player moments. The Stalvin is going away in a day or so. Um, I don't know what else EA is going to do other than just drop a couple more player SBCs until we get to the weekend. I'm also really curious to see what they do with the promo hype. Are they going to release a loading screen today? Are they going to be dropping uh, players in a loading screen, like, you know, they've done so many times this year where they try to tease us, right? Where they put like, an, if it's, if Sterling would be in foot birthday, you might see, let's say they're going to position change him to center attack in mid. You might see a center attack in mid Raheem Sterling with the new card design with like, maybe it's a, a 90, what would he be? A 91 rated card? Is his headliner a 90? I don't remember where the headliner is. It looks like a headliner might be a bit pricey right now. Yeah. So let's say the, a 91 rated um, English card center attack in mid with like 97 pace is like one of the cards on the loading screen, right? You could probably deduce that that is Raheem Sterling, you know, and that's the kind of stuff that I think you could start seeing this week. I don't know if it's going to start on Thursday like it normally does, or if they're going to start it earlier because they could, they could absolutely hype up this promo. They really, really could. Now, I don't think we've seen anything go into like the, the pack code. We haven't seen a card design or anything like that, but that's something that I want you guys to keep out for this week. All right. I want you guys to keep your eyes out and keep looking for that kind of stuff this week as we go on in foot. But again, one, the last thing I want to talk about in this video, come on, man, the PSG fourth kit, I get it, right? This is a kit that a lot of people want in FIFA because this kit in real life is, is a favorite, right? It's got the Jordan logo, it's PSG, it's black, all black. It's a cool looking kit. It's really cool. But we always make fun of these kit SBCs, man, because when you drop an SBC for a kit, it's just like, bro, like 90%, 95% of all the other kits in this game are like 200 coins discard. And now you're making us pay 6,000 coins for a kit. It's just, I, I just find it amusing. I find it funny, but... That's the kind of stuff that we like to laugh at in this game. We like to laugh at that kind of stuff, but it is what it is. And then, of course, these player of the months. Where is Mbappe, man? I don't know where it is, but that's not up to EA to, to decide. I think for whatever reason, the League One, Lee Un, is not releasing that award because I think they just want to be able to present it in person or something. I don't know, but they haven't actually released that award yet, and it's on the League to release that. It's not EA's fault for not releasing an SBC. It's on the actual League Un. Uh, for not actually putting out that award yet. I've been telling people on Twitter, they've been asking me, where is the Mbappe Player of the Month? Mbappe Player of the Month is not going to come out until the award winner is announced. And the award winner has not actually been announced yet. If you want to follow the account that's going to be the official um, account to tweet out who wins, it is at UNFP, at UNFP on Twitter. That's the actual French account. I don't know what it stands for, to be honest. Um, it's Everything's in French. But you can see it when they release it. They'll say like, "L," you know. I don't know. I don't speak French, but the player of the month SBC or player of the month is Mbappe, and it'll tag him. It'll show him with like the player of the month design uh, that they had on the voting screen. So you'll see that when it does come out. But that's besides the point. I really want to just talk to you guys today about what is going on in FIFA and why the why behind it you're like yo why didn't we get foot birthday last week it would have made sense for them to drop foot birthday last week why didn't we get it then why didn't we have any communication on this does it maybe have to do with ea you know i'm sure ea is working from home i think i read something uh online that was like an official statement from ea that said that they are working from home right now and it makes sense so i'm sure that that affects them as well and i you know i have to 
maybe ease off on my criticism a little bit on some things because they're not able to work as they normally would because of everything that's going on in the world too. Um, but a lot of the stuff they have pre-planned, like it's just kind of, they code it for this day and it's supposed to come out. We saw that with some of the Champions League SBCs that came out last week. They had like a pack SBC that would have come out during a normal Champions League week and they didn't take it away or anything. They just kind of left it in. And that's just some of those things that show me that a lot of this content is pre-planned and scheduled ahead of time. Like right now, they've probably got team of the season pretty much scheduled. Now, I don't know if it's going to stay the same because of, you know, world football not being played and what's going to happen with the leagues and stuff. There's a lot of question marks in terms of like team of the season, but at least for this upcoming promo, they probably have everything figured out in terms of what's going to be happening. So we'll get a new team of the week moments team this week. Uh, hopefully these cards can actually show up on the market as specials because uh, at the moment they are not. They're un only showing under the I don't even think they show under gold. Maybe they show under gold. Let me search bail. We'll be getting our second ever squad of team of the week moments, which I'm kind of excited for, I guess. I just want to see what EA does for round two, because round one was pretty, pretty average, I guess you could say. But yeah, if you try to search these guys under special, it's not working. I just made a Twitter video a little bit ago about this issue, and uh, hopefully EA can see that and fix it, because I know a lot of you guys that are trying to even buy the, the like Tevez, right? When you go to search Tevez up, uh, he in the game is not showing up as a special card. So if you search Tevez over 600 K, you're searching for his commible kickoff item. He is 830,000 coins. And yes, you get back to the 59th, 830. You search quality special. And of course that card does not come up, although it should, because it is definitely a special item. So hopefully we see that stuff changed in FIFA as well, as long as some other glitches on the, uh, the transfer market page. That's a video on Twitter that I posted, a really short one, kind of at EA. But that's the real, the big thing that I want to talk with you guys about today is understanding EA, right? Understanding EA is a business. Now, we never get confirmation if they're actually doing what we're talking about here today, if they're actually trying to suck coins off the game and then replenish it with a pack promo. But we've seen it time and time and time again. So we know that's just part of their tactic and that's how they run their game and that's how they try to get more people to spend more FIFA points. Well, how about this? If you made a little bit get better gameplay, improved your servers, and made it more enjoyable for the consumer as a whole, your hardcores, your casuals, you know, if you focused on appeasing and um, making happy your player base, especially with gameplay, because everything in FIFA boils down to gameplay. Why do we buy cards? To get a better team. Why do we open upgrade packs? To have fun and maybe use those insane pulls you get in your team. Why do we want to grind icon swaps to play with our icons, to play with our to play with guys that we watched when we were child, a child or when we were kids. That's the kind of, gameplay revolves around everything, but you see where EA's motivation is at. It's in the money, which is fine they're a business. I think they can just go about it differently. We talk about it all the time around here. That's just the nature of the beast, and that's the nature of the company that creates this football game and the lack of competition in their space that there is. But again, lots of theoretical thinking in this video. Hopefully, I presented the facts to you well. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.